In case you're wondering if a Samoyed is the right dog breed for you, we prepared an 8 point checklist to see if you are the right person to own a Samoyed. <laughs> Hey guys, we are Julia, Sven and Felix over here. He's having a hard day today. <laughs> he needs his slumber. 15 hours a day at least. <laughs> Felix turns 7 very soon and in the past years we learned so much about the breed. So in today's video we will share all of our insights. Let's jump right into the video. A Samoyed is not the right dog breed for you if you're not willing to spend money. A Samoyed is not only difficult in terms of his behavior, but also on his beauty and on his food. So this breed tends to be a bit stubborn. They have their own head. So you definitely need a dog trainer from early on to work on all those issues. In terms of his fur, of course, it needs a lot of care. So you have to buy several brushes and you sometimes also have to go to the groomer, which can get expensive as well. And of course, it's always important to buy the correct food to prevent health issues. A Samoyed is not the right breed for you if you are lazy. Felix can be lazy too, as you can see now, but this is because he has already been on a run this morning and yesterday on a longer hike and another run. So it just was a bit of a hustle <laughs> within these two days. Um, but these kind of dogs need lots of exercise and movement at least two to three times per day and also some mental stimulation so um, they need some intelligence games or some exercises to avoid destructive behavior this means if they are very bored and you don't do much with them they could start to destroy things in your home for example one time when felix was still young and we didn't know this he started chewing on our furniture for example or destroyed our shoes and this is something that we want to avoid. A Samoyed is not the right dog breed for you if you are an impatient person. So like I already mentioned this breed is a very stubborn breed so it can be a very long process to train them stuff because uh, they just don't feel like learning at a certain point of day or something like that so you always have to try it again and reset everything to the starting point and this can be a little bit frustrating so if you tend to be impatient it's it's not the right dog breed for you and we are not talking about learning tricks or something like that these dogs are very intelligent they learn pretty fast we are talking about behavior so when it comes to following rules and being submissive it can get tricky because they often want to be the boss. <laughs> a Samite is not the right dog breed for you if you are not strict enough. And we are the best examples for this because I am not very strict and Sven is more strict, not very, very strict, but he knows how to handle Felix and he can tell him no or what to do. And for me, it's always difficult because I'm just, I mean, I look at him and I'm like, oh, okay, come on. Who can be mad at this guy <laughs> baby. when he behaves bad and Felix knows this by now and he really does what he wants when he's with me and this can be very annoying when we are on walks or when I want him to do something because he just wouldn't listen. So I wish I would have been stricter in the beginning. Nowadays there are days when I try to but sometimes I'm just too weak I guess. <laughs> And there you also have to be patient again. So you have to be strict not only once or twice a day yeah. or at any day in the week or something, but you have to do it constantly, yes. every day, all the time. Yes, no matter how you feel, no matter what's going on, always. A Samoyed is not the right dog breed for you if you are the person that wants to have a dog who's more focused on you. So you can kind of compare the Samoids to cats more or less because they really like their freedom. They have their own head like we already mentioned. So they kind of just sometimes want to lay around in the corner and do their own stuff or explore the garden without you. And that's totally fine. And the uh, best example for that is cuddles. So Felix doesn't like to cuddle. I don't know, there might be some Samoids that does like it, but I think it's just too warm for him sleeping in the bed with us. So. He's not the type of golden retriever, you know, who just does everything with you and is always happy to do it, but um, that's totally fine. 
he just has his own head. You have to keep that in mind if you want to have a Samoy for yourself. A Samoyed is not the right dog breed for you if you are very noise sensitive. <sighs> he barks a lot. You can't tell right now. <laughs> But whenever he's outside in the garden, you will always hear him And sometimes I'm like, oh, the neighbors might hate us already because he bugs so much But um, no one has complained so far. Let's hope it stays like that um, Yeah, but he basically barks whenever he sees something interesting when he's happy when he complains so there are many occasions, not really in the house, only when he plays or wants us to move, but um, outside a lot more and it's super, super loud. I mean, it really depends. We've seen many female Samoids that don't have a very strong bark, but Felix barking is, uh, it's horrible. I, I'm always like, yeah. quiet. It's intense. <laughs> yeah. And I heard before that there are kind of two types of Samoids. So there are the ones that bark a lot and then there seem to also be the type that howls and sings a lot. Yes. So um, this, that might be annoying as well if you, you know, always have your dog singing downstairs or in the, in the room next door. Yeah, or if you're living in a small apartment yeah. with many neighbors around, then it can also be an issue. A Samoyed is not the right dog breed for you if you don't work from home. So if you have to spend a lot of time at the office, for example, six to eight hours or something like that, and you can't bring your dog with you, that might be an issue because Samoids are herding dogs so they've always been used to company around them and if they are lonely for a longer period of time they can feel very sad and that's not the thing you want for your dog, right? Yeah, we, we really think that leaving um, a Samoid alone at home for eight or nine hours is just too long. We know many people do it um, with their dogs and there might be dog breeds for which it's okay but we think for these dogs, it's uh, it's too long. Okay, last but not least, uh, Samoyed is not the right breed for you if you are a very shy person. This might sound a bit weird, um, <laughs> but whenever we go out with Felix, so many people stop us, and not because they know us from social media, but because they want to touch him, they want to take a photo, or um, they just want to ask what kind of breed it is. And um, in the beginning, this was very weird, but we are open people. We love to meet other people and talk to strangers. Um, but I can imagine that it can get very annoying if you don't like these social interactions on a daily basis. So please keep that in mind that these dogs are super cute and they will attract lots of attention. <laughs> And that's already it. It's a rather short video for this week and we still hope you liked it and we hope you learned something from it and if you consider to get a Samoyed just keep those eight points in mind and if you finally get a Samoyed have fun with it because they are the best dog breed. They have such a great <laughs> character. It's always so nice to have them around. Now he wakes up the we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys don't forget to like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you again next week bye bye Ta -ta.